Hello everyone, I've got another hair tutorial for you guys today and this is actually one that so many of you have been requesting for months now. Now I get a lot of questions about my hair, specifically when I wear it curly. Um, a lot of you have been asking me, how do you keep it frizz free for the most part? Um, how do you make the curls look bouncy and voluminous and all of that? My hair is naturally curly. As you can see underneath here, this is really the texture and curl of my hair. It's kind of spirally. So for all my curly haired girls out there, today's tutorial is all about working with what you have. Um, this tutorial actually cheats the natural curly hair a little bit. You're gonna see how I was able to sort of create the volume up top um, as well as minimize the um, kinky roots. So um, yeah, if you're interested in learning how to create this look, keep watching. So here's the shampoo and conditioner I used today. You can use anything really, but if your hair has a drier texture, then definitely go with a replenishing dry hair shampoo. After the shower, I'm putting in a dry oil serum. This one is from the same Dove collection as the shampoo and conditioner. I love it. Next, I'm using Living Proof's Instant Repair Cream, and this is like a leave-in conditioner which my hair seriously needs. Okay, and then lastly, I'm using Diva Curls Frizz Free Volumizing Foam. I just put it at the roots of my hair um, to kind of give it that extra boost when it comes time for styling. It really is great and it's lightweight and it doesn't feel all sticky. Okay, so now I'm using one of my blow dryers with an attached diffuser to dry my curls. This is really key when it comes to blow drying. You have to have a diffuser. I've tried doing it conventionally without it and it just it really makes your curls fall flat. So I highly recommend a diffuser and just use it kind of like how I am here. You just kind of want to pour your hair onto the diffuser and just keep sort of playing with it and bouncing it up and down um, until you get the curls to dry. You don't have to get them 100% dry, but you want to get them dry enough to where you, you start to feel the product holding the curls and you start to see that you know your hair is drying. Typically, um, this kind of takes me about maybe 15 minutes sometimes. Just be patient and also when it comes to the heat setting, um, just I recommend starting on medium and then going back and forth between medium and high. Um, the heat setting is actually on high here because my hair is still really wet as you can see. But throughout this step, I'm also switching it back and forth between the medium low setting, which kind of is a great way to let your hair cool off and to let it naturally dry on its own as well. If you are somebody that likes to let your hair air dry, I totally recommend that. It's actually better to do it that way, but let's face it, we don't always have time to sit an hour and let our hair completely air dry. But if you tend to wash your hair at night, I totally recommend letting it air dry and then in the morning, kind of going over it and styling it. That really is the best way to go, but um, this is a routine that I usually do during the daytime. Okay, so we are finishing up here. This is also another really great way to create that extra volume is just by drying your hair upside down. Again, during this stage, you want to um, reduce the, the heat, the power of the heat, I should say, because then it can get really crazy in Mufasa and you really don't want that. Um, you still want your curls to look somewhat tamed and sophisticated. So I just recommend flipping your hair upside down for just less than five minutes and hair drying that way. Um, it's really gonna make a difference. Okay, so just like a good salad, I'm gonna let this sit for a while and then I'm gonna come back and add the magical touch, okay? So in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys my everyday makeup routine. So I'm starting with my primer. This is actually from Target. It's their Pixie um, Poreless Primer. Next, I'm using my NARS Weightless Foundation. Um, this is in the shade Barcelona, I believe, and um, I really love the coverage. So I'm using my Artiste brush that I'm absolutely obsessed with to apply this product on my face. I just love the way that it goes on so smoothly. Um, if you're like, what the heck is this brush right now? You've got to check out one of my recent tutorials on my channel, um, really reviewing this brush and using it. It's seriously magic. Okay, so now for the concealer. This is from Laura Mercier. It's her camouflage palette in SC4. This is really great for under the eyes and any blemish areas. Um, and I'm just blending it in with my Artiste brush again, as you can see. So now I'm just going to set everything in place. I'm using Laura Mercier underneath my eyes. And then I'm using this NYC Cosmetics um, mineral powder to set my foundation. 
just gotta wipe up my eyebrows. It's a routine, I always do it. And then time to contour. I'm using a powder to contour my face. This is from Too Faced in their Chocolate Soleil shade. I absolutely love it. I've been using it for years. Um, and it kind of takes away the pale look from the foundation. So it really balances everything out and helps you look more natural. Um, just gonna finish up here. This is um, e.l.f. Cosmetics blush. I'm just blending it in nice and evenly. And now for just a little faux glow, I'm using my Wild Radiant palette from BH Cosmetics here at the top of my cheekbones, on my nose, and of course my Cupid's bow. Now just a little lip liner to give my lips that juicy effect. And then I'm adding this NARS lip crayon. I can't remember the shade, I'll be sure to mention it below, but it's the perfect everyday shade. Okay, onto the eyes. I'm using e.l.f. Cosmetics Eye Primer. Just blending it in on my eyelids nice and evenly. Then I'm using this soft brown shade from MAC and I'm just applying it to the crease of my eyelids and um, bringing it into the sort of inner corners of my eyes. But as you can see, I'm not going all the way too far. Just kind of at the crease and at the end of my eye. So now I am just get up grabbing a liquid liner. This is from the drugstore. Hey girl, hey. And I'm just creating a simple cat eye. I have a tutorial on how to do this on my channel if you wanna know the exact steps. It's really simple, you just wanna make sure it's nice and even. Let's finish it off with some mascara, shall we? This is from uh, L'Oreal's their Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Totally obsessed with it. And there you go. All right, so back to the hair. I'm going to now use my curling wand. This is from T3 Micro. And I'm just grabbing really small sections, mostly at the roots. I'm not gonna touch the bottom. So I'm just going to use the wand to create some more volume at the top of my hair because it's kind of falling flat right now. There's some areas that are damaged from heat, as you can see. So they're not curling how I want them to curl. So I'm using the wand to kind of cheat the natural curly hair routine. I don't always do this, but um, this has been one of my go-to looks on the days where, you know, I don't have time to let it sit and air dry, so it's really helpful to go back and kind of clean up the hair. So I'm mostly just curling the roots of my hair. That's all I really care to do. The curls don't need to be perfect because what we're gonna do in a little bit is you're gonna see how I'm going to magically make it all kind of blend in and look cohesive. So now I'm just moving on to the other side and just in small sections, like I said, just curling it and kind of scrunching it as I go. Your hair doesn't need to be sectioned off. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're just running the wand through your hair. And I kind of like that it's not all perfect because this is not supposed to be a perfect curly hair routine video. Um, you want it to look a little messy or natural. Okay, so as you can see, I just curled the top of my hair and I'm just going to spray this awesome hairspray from L'Oreal in my hair. And then with a wide tooth comb brush, is that what they're called? I'm just brushing through my hair, all of it. I mean, some people say, what are you doing? You're not supposed to do that, but look, I totally do it. it I feel like it makes my hair look 10 times bigger and everything just kind of blends in from the faux curls that I just created to the natural curls um, at the ends of my hair. I'm just blending it all in. I really like this look. I'm from Texas originally, so I like that big Texas hair. And if you're wondering if this falls flat throughout the day, nope, not at all. My hair actually gets bigger as the day goes on, so I really have to try to keep it tamed um, or else I do turn into Mufasa. Well, there you go. This is my natural, cheated, curly hair routine. I hope it was easy enough for you guys to follow along. Oh, and here's another really great hairstyle idea. If you just pin one side of your hair, you can kind of create um, a really great nighttime look. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I love my sleek straight hair, but it's really nice when I can wear my hair curly and put less heat in it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Um, if you found anything helpful in the video, please comment below and let me know. I always appreciate your feedback. Give this video a thumbs up, please, as well as subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm sure like a million more hairstyle videos because I love to change it up. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, mwah, mwah. Bye.